Welcome to day 34. Today's task then, look over yesterday's notes as always. We're doing reviews as we move into new material. Look at the RCND2 cram and as soon as possible start getting it off the paper and writing out what you've read onto a new sheet of paper from memory. Today's main subject is HSRP or basically the three types of protocols HSRP, VRRP and GLBP so high availability we're looking at today. Again this is another one that Cisco referred to in the syllabus but they don't really give you any specifics of how much detail so it's left me with a situation where I've had to put a fair amount of detail into the guide just in case they're sort of drilling you at CCMP level because all of these three subjects you know three protocols used to be a high, high availability all was in the CCMP syllabus it still is for under switching um, for the switch syllabus so we're going to look at the how, how the or how it all works the differences between the three the functions and also configuration commands for all three I'm not sure if you'd be asked to configure it in the exam but because it's in the syllabus you can you need to prepare yourself I'd expect more for you to be asked a few theory questions but as I said you never know so we just need to prepare for the worst really I'll just flick over to the study guide just so you know you're on track see it only mentions high availability in the syllabus for the three protocols so we'll talk about HSRP plenty of diagrams to show you how it works and a few packet captures electing the gateway preemption this will all make sense as you read your um, your study guide tracking interfaces I've put in authentication as well you probably won't find that in any other guide but I've kind of put it in there because a we're talking about it and B if you come to configure it it's kind of really useful to know really uh, load balancing uh, HSRP versions and then we go into this it's the same sort of thing for VRRP and gateway load balancing protocol as well they don't all do the same thing and they obviously have different commands but a lot of similarities between the three answer some questions about it and then obviously you need to be doing labs so uh, all three protocols make sure you can lab up and that's all for today i will see you tomorrow